Hey, you know, if you make less than $100,000 a year, your kid can go to Princeton University for free now. Cool. Little tidbit of info for y'all. I mean, he probably shows to make the grades for it. But I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid rag cheese of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon for the Yeah, and, like and on Patreon, mm -hmm. you know who you are. Spank me, Daddy. Today we got this is a video. It's called "The Woman Who Taught the West How to Cook Indian Food." My wife. I don't think so. Uh, She's been cooking up some really, really beautiful food at home the past couple days. It says, 40 years ago, a groundbreaking uh, cooking program popularized the cooking of Indian food at home. Uh, and it's apparently pretty popular. And so this is basically this is India's gonna, Julia Child? I suppose, yeah. yeah? Uh, I was never taught outside of YouTube taught me. And then I taught everyone else because my YouTube channel. <sighs> so successful. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> series I'm going to show you how to cook all kinds of Indian food some of it you may be familiar with the kind of food you've had in Indian restaurants and some of it you've probably never eaten is the Ooh. kind of food you get in Indian homes when my program came on air there weren't any cookery programs not Indian cookery it was an immediate hit and nobody expected that Madhu Jaffrey grew up in Delhi but left in her 20s to study acting in London at RADA. A mission to excite Western palates led to her being described as the original Spice Girl. It was an education <laughs> nice. program, so people were supposed to learn from it, learn culture. What makes Indian food Indian, really, is a mixture, a blend of selected spices. The most important element became the excitement of the cooking. One of the things I'm going to make is Rohan Josh. This is oh. a classical North Indian dish. It will always make Lana, me think of Nasirat and Shah in that short film. I wanted people to have the authentic Indian food from homes oh. and to give recipes from specific regions of India. So people understood that Indian food is not hot, hotter, hottest. And it's not just one people region. It started with the people in the studio. They loved the smells. The minute I finished cooking, they were ready to eat. <laughs> it was last September when Maro Jaffrey began her cookery course on BBC Two. Since when, nearly two million people have watched Spellbound as she unravels the mysteries of Indian cuisine. There were letters, there were people falling in, people getting so excited. As I came in at immigration, they would say, well, so what are you making today? <laughs> To be able to do it yourself and have something tasty that nobody's ever served to you before was quite something in people's homes. Oh, wow. Looks delicious. Whatever I was making that particular evening would be cooked by everybody all over England. The day after I cooked a chicken with green coriander, they ran out of green coriander in Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> I was so That's so awesome. Granted, like there's that. not and a lot of spice city, going on in uh, English yeah. families. Cooking that particular thing. They're not known for their food. There's so much coriander. Oh. Brown spices. The supermarket started stocking the spices. So as I kept cooking, the, the nature of the spices and the fresh ingredients they stocked became larger. Yeah, that's larger. fantastic. Now it has to go in the oven. The people from <laughs> South Asia had never seen themselves on television as themselves. They'd been mocked, they'd been, you know, seen in forms that they didn't always like, but they'd never seen themselves as they were. Ordinary, wonderful people and cooking absolutely gorgeous food. They felt I was representing them. I would wear wonderful Indian cottons that I really thought was stylish and beautiful because I wanted to project an attractive India that had a sense of modernity. There was a deep, deep recognition and satisfaction that they were now on television in some way. I'm really proud of 
the program we did at that time. I think we aimed it. Oh, we'd love to cook some of our food. Yeah. We've never watched the Indian <coughs> program before. And I think they reacted very well to it. What I started has not died. That's the wonderful thing. It's been picked up by other people and it'll have a life forever now. Corbin's YouTube channel. I was just going to say. Yeah, you picked right up where she left off. She dropped the baton. Thank you, Queen. You quickly kicked it into the gutter. That's true. Yeah. I haven't posted in like a year. But it's fine. That's okay. <laughs> I just had twin. <laughs> That's what I blame everything on. That's awesome. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I obviously never heard of her. You never yeah, heard of never her? heard of her either. Yeah. Um, apparently, she, maybe she was just popular in, in, in Britain. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe that. Maybe so. Your, Europe uh, regions of the world. That's awesome. Uh, but also, she looks like she was way before my time as well. Yeah. Might even be before your time. Maybe so. She may, maybe, I mean, looks like she came just a little bit after Julia Child. 40 years ago. Yeah. That's what it says. So, 70s? That, was, that would have been the 70s. Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah. And Julia would have been in her heyday. She really started to pick it up in the 60s and 70s, so just before that. So, But yeah, to bring, especially to bring um, food with flavor to Europe. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's the thing about England it. is known for a lot of things, uh, genocide and, and con uh, colonialism. But uh, they are not known for their food. <laughs> no, but hey, a little shout out. Thank you for Shakespeare. Um, well, the, the, he also the, stole that too. The no, not, nah, <laughs> debatable. Um, the the flavors is the one thing. Like we have, first of all, I was saying that Indrani's been cooking some amazing things the past couple of days, and we have a friend uh, named Roshni who is a chef. She's like a full blown. Her big thing is to introduce people to uh, Indian food in the in the shape of like really fine cuisine mm -hmm. and to see it as more than just like a buffet style thing yeah. you get and it's all North Indian yeah. and anytime we've eaten they've come over to our place and she's brought food we've go over to her place and she's making food and the thing that just boggles my mind and Indrani did this the other night too is that they can get a level of heat without it taking away from the flavors mm -hmm. and even like some of the more gentle flavors that the dish is cooked with. Let's say it's a fish dish or, or even a mutton dish can, can, can be mild flavored and you add all of these spices and seasonings, but there's two things about it. The first one being the level of heat that you can encounter, but it not blow your mouth away. Like if you had a serrano pepper, sometimes you can't taste anything because it's just you're, you're fried. And then the other thing is the number of <laughs> seasonings and spices and flavors that are used in Indian cooking are astonishing yeah just astonishing and you taste things that like with other cuisines i can kind of pinpoint the majority of things and there's maybe one thing i'm I, most of the time i'm eating something and i don't even have a clue what that is and Indrani or Roshni yeah. will say something and it's like oh, I have, okay uh, i never heard of that spice i have a whole cabinet full of indian spices yeah from the channel um and Bong, Bong Eats. Have you ever watched Bong Eats? Uh, it's, a, it's a really good YouTube channel about Bengali bong food. and then eat. Ah, excellent. Well, that makes you hungry. Yes, it does. Uh, is Bong Eats has a video of some of the... I mean, they do a lot of dishes, great dishes, but they also have a video on what you should stock in your cabinets mm -hmm. to cook Indian food. And you watch this video, and Mustard it's seeds. just... And they're cool because they're like, okay, here's the, what you should have just as basic beginner, expert, and then they call it ninja style. And the things that you need to have in your kitchen oh, I have it to all. cook full-blown Indian food is unbelievable. Black cardamom, I have that. Racist. I know. Um, gear masala, that's just a bunch of spices, though. I hate mustard seeds. You know what I bought Fuck yesterday? Fuck mustard seeds. You they, know what I bought? They why? scare me. Because when they pop? They pop. I know, they do. They pop. Every single time. Okay, now... How do you handle, you may not do it as much as my wife does, but my wife is cooking stuff in the kitchen and I can't stay in the kitchen with her because it is just too spicy. The air, like I'm coughing and my eyes are watering what do you and she's just it? like, I don't know what your problem is, white boy. Well, it's a mixture called Panchfurun, which is a Bengali spice mixture of five spices five spices which has mustard seeds okay. in mustard oil she's cooking yes. it in, in the mustard, mustard oil. and then she adds the red chilies oh yeah so well, it gets it every gets... time i used to cook stuff i always 
basically halved any heat thing that was in it. Sure. I always try to put it in it just so I could taste what it's supposed to taste like. Right. But I always basically halved anything that was I must say, and I've said this before, you did you did surprisingly well in India. I was really concerned Inside that it was going to be Rajasthan was really hot. Horrific trip for you. Yeah. <laughs> but you did you did you did good. Anyways, that was awesome. Let us know if you ever watched her back in the day and uh, any other videos we can watch down below. Josh!